Hello. For this problem, you can use Excel or the calculator. I brought up Excel. It's in Chapter 9, um, Hypothesis Test of a Mean. And then you just fill in right here. And our sample size was 75. The population mean comes from the null hypothesis, which is 2.9. This is um, sample mean is here, uh, sample mean was 2.94. Um, my umbrella is right here. And the standard deviation was right here, 0.03. Wait, what? Why did they do that? And alpha is your test, 0 0.01. And, um, this gives you your T value. 11.547 right here and then they want you to test with the critical value Oops, critical value if you slide this down goes by whether it's a left tail right tail or two tails well this one was testing larger than so it was oh here it is right here the greater than one which means greater would be right tail, so it's the middle one. 2.3778. That's where they got that. Um, if the alternative hypothesis is greater than a certain number. Oh, it says that there too. It's kind of just like a green glass. And then the p-value for a right tail, this would be a 10 to the negative 18, so it would be 0. And that's why we reject the null hypothesis. Because 0 is less than 0.01. What?